Welcome to future videos demonstration of MultiView 2, a software tool which has been designed for simultaneous playback and synchronization of up to 32 pre-recorded videos, all on a single PC screen. MultiView 2 provides a quick and simple way to review multiple video recordings from different cameras, whether shot together or at different times. And unlike traditional editing programs, MultiView 2 does not require timelines and rendering to view the playback of all videos. Its simple interface makes it easy to learn and use. Experience in video editing is unnecessary. MultiView 2 is ideal for applications involving law enforcement incident review, military debriefing, sports training, clinical evaluation studies, and others involving human assessment and interpretation of video content. We've divided this demonstration into four short lessons. Let's start off our sample project with a simple law enforcement incident example to illustrate how useful MultiView 2 can be in such an application. From the file menu, we'll add two pre-recorded videos taken from two independent highway patrol in-car cameras in use during the pursuit of a suspect's vehicle. Notice we can select as many videos as we like, up to 32, to load into our project space by using the control key and click on each video to load together. As the videos load, they are automatically tiled to fit the project workspace for us. We can adjust the size of each window or crop it by grabbing the corner of the window and changing its size. Several options for sizing the windows can be seen in the View Menu item choice. In this case, the window resizes the video when we change the window size. Later, we will explore these options. By default, MultiView 2 will play both videos together from the start of each recording when the Playback Controls Toolbar's Play button is clicked. MultiView also has hotkeys available for this purpose. These are revealed by holding the cursor over the Toolbar's button, and in this case, the Spacebar key on your keyboard. When your PC is connected to Future Video's MC20 Pro Jog Shuttle Controller, most operations can be accessed via this tactile control surface and the Playback Controls toolbar would be hidden. All the hotkeys are shown in the Help menu under Shortcut Keys. Let's click on the Play button now to start the playback of both video recordings. Since the two videos are not yet synchronized, as the original videos were taken by two independent cameras which started recording at different moments, it would be much more useful to see them play back synchronized to a common point in time. We do this by finding a frame image of video that we can easily identify in both videos that we know occurred nearly at the same time. In this case, let's use the video from the camera one recording and find a point in time where we can easily identify both recordings. First, let's turn off the auto sync feature so that only one video is controlled by the toolbar buttons. We do this either by selecting options from the menu bar or by pressing the F3 key. The status of the auto sync is shown in the status bar near the bottom of the center of the screen. Now we click on the video window of camera one to control only this video. We can also independently control each video using the hotkeys or from the MC20 Pro as well. As we play the video, we see an easily identifiable image where the pursued vehicle starts to swerve and cross the middle line of the highway. We'll use this position as our reference point. Go 
We then click on the video in the camera 2 window and use the toolbar or hotkeys to find the same point. Now that both images are at the same point in time, we click on the toolbar button Set Match Point, which will synchronize the two camera videos together during playback. Notice as we step forward or backward, the two videos remain in sync. If we drag the time bar from either one of the videos, the other will follow. Now let's play the videos and see how they both are synchronized together. When we click to pause, they remain in sync as well. Clicking on the step forward and back buttons, they both follow. If we want to go back to our match point, we click on the go to match point button. If there are several audio tracks in each video, it's useful to mute all but one of the videos. To mute the video for a particular window, select options, mute audio, current, or press F8. This will mute the audio of the currently highlighted window. Pressing F8 again will unmute the audio. You can see the status of the audio mute in the status bar below the video. It's also possible to play the videos in slow motion. To do this, bring up the playback settings window and choose a speed. This will apply to all the windows in the project workspace. This is a good time to save the project workspace. We do this by clicking on the file menu and choose Save Project As. This allows us to keep the project with the synchronized video information, any logged event points described in the next section, the window positions and sizes intact. So next time we load the project rather than the individual files. It's best to save projects in the same folder so you don't have to search for the project path each time. The video files may be located in different locations but should not be moved since the project file keeps information of where they are when you save the project.